When it comes to our worship experiences, there is a lot more that goes into it from a behind the scenes perspective. There's a lot that happens, more than meets the eye. It's a lot that actually happens throughout the week. You know, we have to prepare our hearts, prepare our minds, but also prepare ourselves physically. We come in, set up our instruments, prepare site of production, turn on all elements that we'll be using, as well as preparing what we're gonna be saying and how we're gonna use this time to fellowship with our people. Each person puts in a lot of time and effort into the atmosphere um, that we create on Saturday mornings. Uh, we put in a lot of time um, every, every week, hours every day, um, just to make it so that when you come in, you feel welcomed. The main point in all this is to glorify Jesus and the musicians and our production come together. That is um, when the magic really happens, where we create that atmosphere where people can freely worship and, and freely feel the Holy Spirit. And that is where, where the Holy Spirit can just go in and um, plant a seed in someone, help them just to grow. And that, that's, that's the whole reason why we're here. The whole reason why we're here is to glorify Jesus and glorify God. As a worship leader, you know, you have to show up week to week. You're up here on the stage, yes, um, but we're not exempt from life. We are not immune to hardship or trouble um, and problems, right? I have problems just like you do. And so, yes, I am flawed, um, but the best part about saying that is that God doesn't call the perfect. He doesn't need to choose the best. He calls the willing and he calls the available and all he needs is your yes.